true homeless horror story animated. Thanks a lot, my love. Original video will be down in the description. Here we go. Click, click, clack. Bass is back. <sighs> Boom. I still can't forget that day. 12 years ago, I lived as a homeless person during some period in my 20s. It was a time when I used to walk the streets and survive on a single loaf of bread. One day, I was sleeping on the street and had a strange dream. In the dream, a monster with a hundred eyes was running towards me. I woke up screaming as the monster came right in front of me. It was a dark morning, and as my eyes began to adjust to the darkness, I realized that a stranger was standing right in front of me. I was so startled. Then he came right up to my nose and started groping my face with his hand. I shouted, asking what he was doing, being astonished. Then he stopped, put his palms together, and chanted strange incantations as he walked backwards. No. I can't remember clearly, but I think he said something like this. The visible world is fake. He was dressed like a monk and was walking with his eyes closed. I was so horrified, but was so tired and hungry that I didn't even have the energy left to do anything. So I just slept again. However, the next day I overheard other homeless people talking to each other. Is everyone okay? I think we're fine. Fortunately, everyone seems to have blocked it well. I asked them what they were talking about, and they told me something shocking. The story was that someone unknown was coming every night and secretly plucking out the eyeballs of homeless oh, people. Hell no. It was the so-called eyeball hunter. As soon as I heard that, I was shocked and stopped breathing for a moment, because it seemed to me that he was the person I saw in the morning. Then I found out why so many homeless people here had no eyes. Wow. I was overwhelmed with too much fear, but it is real. That's when I would switch or sleep at a different location. I would get out of that area. Hell no. I would go to a different location to sleep. Nope, you ain't getting my eyes. I love to see. I love my sight. Rumored that he didn't kill anyone. One day, he plucked out the eyeballs of a homeless man, and the homeless man shouted that he would rather be killed. But the eyeball hunter left, saying that it was his principle not to kill humans. The hell? My whole body oh, trembled whole hearing then. that. At that time, if I had only woken up three seconds later, I couldn't even imagine what would have happened. Only then did I find out why the homeless there were staying vigil every night. I've always thought that they were on watch not to be deprived of food, but I didn't know it was actually to protect their eyes. Since then, I decided to join a group of homeless people because I couldn't sleep on my own. And I was able to stay safe for a while, keeping a night watch in the group. Then one day, oh. early in the oh. morning, I heard a loud scream. Everyone woke up, but one homeless man was rolling around, putting his hands over his eyes. There was blood all over his face and on the floor. And I saw the back of the monk who was running at a tremendous speed in the distance. There is an eyeball hunter. I could hear people shouting and buzzing. Ew. We hurriedly called an ambulance and he was taken away. You're trying to tell me you guys didn't chase that dude down. If that was me, yeah, we're gonna chase that dude down. <sighs> oh yeah. I bet she won't do that anymore. But you try to okay. That's crazy. I would have chased some down. And I saw the back of the monk who was running at a tremendous speed in the distance. 
There is an eyeball hunter. I could hear people shouting and buzzing. We hurriedly called an ambulance and he was taken away. It turned out that the person who was on night watch fell asleep for a while and it happened in the middle of it. We reported it to the police. Of course, they ain't gonna do nothing. I was really terrified and felt that I couldn't stay there any longer. I tried desperately to get out of there. Finally able to end my homeless life, I rented a small house and started my new life. After some time passed, I visited the homeless people I was close with. They welcomed me, and according to what they said, they heard that the eyeball hunter was caught by the police. That's good. And the eyeball hunter said to the police as follows. It is only after human beings see the world through their eyes that prejudices and sins arise. Only when you are not deceived by appearances do you know the true meaning of life. That is why I remove people's eyes so that they can truly become enlightened. He believed it would save people and he had no eyes either. It was self-removed. However, he said that he can see the world through his third eye, called Chakra, after long practice, even though he has no eyes. How he sees is still a mystery, and I suddenly remembered one thing. On the day he first appeared in front of me, oh, yeah, no. the black plastic bag he was holding in his hand the bag contained several round-shaped objects. I thought it was just fruit or something, okay. but I just found out what those things were. I'm still suffering from insomnia every day. He's in prison, but for some reason I keep thinking he's likely to break into my house. Now I sleep with my glasses on every day because I feel like I can protect my eyes by doing this. I want to get out of this fear as soon as possible. If only I could erase him from my memory. Hell no, that's some traumatizing shit right there. Hell no, I wouldn't be able to sleep either. How is glasses gonna protect? All he gotta do is take them off.